What's going on today, you guys? Today we're talking about an unconventional way of holding the drumsticks that a lot of my favorite drummers are using right now. So let's get right into it. So guys, this idea first came from watching tons of different drummers like Marcus Gilmore, like Tony Williams on videos and numerous other people. And something I noticed is that a lot of times their front two fingers, their pointer finger and their thumb are not even on the stick and especially not on the stick very tightly. And I was thinking about this for a long time. I was like, wow, how do they do this? How do they get this great control by holding the stick with just the back two fingers like this? And I was thinking about this for a long time, but I didn't think too much of it. And then I was watching this Tony Williams masterclass from like 1981. And he was talking about how all the great drummers use the back two fingers just like this to control and to hold the stick. I personally was taught to hold the stick with a fulcrum between these two fingers right here, your thumb and your pointer finger. And that's where the stick pivots from. So the definition of a fulcrum is the point on which a lever rests or is supported and on which it pivots. So the stick is pivoting in between this place where the fulcrum is. And I've always played the fulcrum between my thumb and my pointer finger. But I've started to notice that these guys are actually playing the fulcrum from these back two fingers. And this allows for a lot greater control sometimes because it's using bigger muscles and bigger motions in the arm. It's usually relying on the wrist or even finger motion, but there are more fingers in contact with the stick and all these things help for greater control of the instrument. So I've started to explore this technique and using these back two fingers to control the stick. And it's actually a really interesting technique. I'm starting to like it a lot. The only thing that's tricky is to hold the stick too firmly. I've definitely gotten the habit of holding the stick too firmly when I'm trying to keep all four of my fingers or five, I guess, including the thumb on the stick at all times. Because keeping all these fingers on the stick definitely helps for greater control, but it's way harder to make sure you keep loose and to not get tendonitis from holding the stick too tightly. So in this Tony Williams masterclass, he calls the original technique of the thumb and the pointer finger a willy-nilly technique. It's kind of a willy-nilly haphazard type of technique to me. He likes um, having as much control over the stick as possible. So he was talking about how he controls the stick with these back two fingers all the time. And he likes to hold a very firm grip on the stick too to make sure his technique is super solid and that he's not relying on bounce, he says. And watching Marcus Gilmore in a lot of videos, I've noticed that he is definitely doing this too. A lot of times he won't even have his thumb or his pointer finger on the stick very tightly at all. The stick is bouncing in between these two fingers. So this is super interesting to me and this is a thing that a lot of people are not talking about right now. And I think it's something that should be explored a lot more because I think this has a lot of potential to have a lot greater control over the instrument because there is still a lot of potential to use bounce and to use the forward motion of the stick and all these things to create a better drum technique. So another reason I think having the fulcrum in the back of the hand might be really useful is going from different tunings of drums. From really low tuned drums to really high tuned drums is a completely different bounce and if you're not used to it, it's gonna be really difficult to play with the technique right here. You're relying on the bounce of the stick. And when you have really low tuned drums, there's a lot less bounce. So you need a lot more effort to play the drum. And if you have the fulcrum in the back of the stick in these back two fingers, like Marcus or like Tony Williams does sometimes, you're not even gonna to need to rely on bounce and you can go throughout these different tunings with ease. You're gonna be able to play the same exact things on different cymbals, different drums. All these different surfaces are gonna feel very similar, where if you have the fulcrum in the top two fingers like this, it's gonna feel very different and you're gonna to have to develop a different technique for each different surface you're playing on. So in my opinion, this is a much more versatile technique right now and I'm checking it out. And of course, there's flaws to each different technique. This one, like Tony Williams said, can be a little willy-nilly at times. Willy-nilly when you're just holding it with these two fingers and relying on these for bounce, because each different surface has a different type of bounce. So when you're doing this, the technique is much more firm, so that can be a pro and a con, because you can develop things like tendonitis and all those things. But also, the firm technique lets you have a much stronger technique, and you're much more versatile on all these different surfaces. And this technique is definitely not an end-all be-all. I've seen both of these drummers, Tony Williams and Marcus Gilmore, do both of these techniques. I've definitely seen them both use the traditional fulcrum, especially 
especially when Tony Williams was younger and when Marcus was younger. They would definitely use the fulcrum in between the thumb and the pointer finger and use that bounce. Especially when Tony Williams was playing with Miles Davis, you can see his fingers going crazy in the back like that. Both of these drummers have definitely used both of these and I personally think I'm gonna try to use both of these techniques because they're both great for different things. So once again, guys, this is kind of just a thought today, but it's a really interesting thing that a lot of great, great drummers are using right now. And it's a very unconventional thing that a lot of people are not teaching. So explore this and check it out for yourself. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're enjoying my videos, I'd really, really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel down below. I'm coming out with weekly videos and a new one's coming next Tuesday. Thanks so much, guys, and I hope you have a great day.